Good day, guys. Welcome back to the channel. I'm actually on vacation currently, so uh, yeah, I'm out. Um, really looking forward to these preliminary finals. I'll probably be streaming Friday night's game. As for Saturday, I've got some birthday events. As yesterday was my uh, my 21st, and uh, but I'm keen for some footy. There's going to be a big round of prelims, and let's get into my tips. <laughs> So the first game sees the Melbourne Storm up against the Canberra Raiders at Suncorp. Now, great record up in Queensland at the moment with the Sunshine Coast Stadium. And obviously Suncorp, the Melbourne Storm defeated my Parramatta Eel 36-24. The Storm weren't great in that game, so I do expect them to turn up here. As for the Raiders, they won well over the, the Roosters. They were defensively really good. Their attack is hot. Their halves are good. Whiten and Williams um, at the backs. It's going to be a really good battle with Pappenhausen and Chance Nickel Klockstad. This is for a spot in the grand final, which is huge. Um, the Raiders potentially could be one of those teams that break the, the Storm and Roosters getting to the grand final kind of drought. Um... It's been tough to think about this match. As for the match, Cameron Munster's named in the side. Not too sure if he will play, but he is named. Dale Finucan is a chance um, for lock position, who currently Nelson Asafa Solomona is there. Um, and I'd say that if that happens, Tom Eisenhoof will drop to the reserves with Dale Finucan coming in. As for the Raiders, they're completely unchanged. Um, and they're choosing to start Tom Starling rather than... So, so, Sylvia Havili. I'm actually going to go Canberra. I honestly think that Cameron Smith could be playing his last NRL game on Friday night. I think that the Storm have had a really good year. They've exceeded a lot of expectations. Obviously, they didn't get the minor premiership, which I think a few people expected. But I don't. there were a lot of people that had the Storm out of the top four. And they've shown that they're a clinical side. They've shown some gutsy wins. I just think the Raiders are, are on fire at the moment. I really do think that Canberra will win this game. I think it'll be very tight. I think we're going to get a defensive, low-scoring game, which we haven't gotten in a while. I'm going to take the Raiders 16 points to 14. I'm going to take... Let's go with Nick Kotrick on the wing and John Bateman or Elliot Whitehead. I'm going to, I'm going to go John Bateman. So John Bateman or Nick Kotrick to score a try in this one. Be low scoring, so yeah, take the storm and both both teams neither race to thirty. I can't see thirty points being scored. They both these teams are hot on attack um, on their day, but I just think it's going to be a great game of footy, and I'm really looking forward to it. So, as I said, I'll probably stream this on Friday night, but I'm getting behind the Canberra Raiders here. The next preliminary final is at ANZ Stadium. It is the Penrith Panthers who are chasing I. I think their 16th straight win, it could be 17th, so sorry if I'm wrong there, up against the South Sydney Rabbitoh, who knocked out my Parramatta Eels at Bankwest last week. Now, I've obviously chosen the Raiders here to go through to the grand final. Now, if they do play the Panthers, this is a repeat on the 30-year anniversary of the grand final that was the Raiders and Panthers in 1990, which would be pretty cool, but you can't deny the Rabbitohs' talent. Um, they're just finding a way to win gritty. I didn't think they were good the last two weeks. So I really don't. I think that against the Roosters, they look quite good. Um, I just think that they've dropped dropped off a bit and not just their starts. They're a little bit sloppy. But when they come up with points, they come up with points like that. And this is a team that is red hot in attack. Now, I think that the interesting battle here is Cody Walker, who's been in good form for, I would say, about four to six weeks now, versus Nathan Cleary, who is one of the best players in rugby league right now, without a doubt. So that is a really exciting battle there. Um, as for the wing, the centres battle, you've got Dane Gagai, who is that origin experience in those big game, up against Stephen Crichton. Now, this is a finals match. This is to get into the grand final. Um, can the Penrith Panthers go all the way? There's a lot of expectation. They've obviously won the minor premiership. So... Um, it's, it's going to be interesting. Now, the big out to talk about here is that Viliami kick out. I'm not sure if I agree with the decision completely. I think I do because of how 
consistent we're getting with these calls, but I think it was a little bit softer. Uh, Viliami Kickout is out for the Penrith Panthers. That is a huge loss, in my opinion. Um, and Kurt Capewell is in. But at the same time, and this probably reveals my tip for you, when the Panthers rested players when they were out, I think Kickout was out, and I think someone else was out. I forget who it was. Let me know in the comment. I think it was against the Bulldogs. And the Bulldogs just came off a good win against the Rabbitohs, but then got smashed to nil by the Penrith Panthers. And I think that this Panthers side are going to storm into the grand final. I'm just having a look if there's any other changes, but I forgot to mention that starting in Kikau's position will be Kurt Capel. So really looking forward to him up against Jaden Sewer, who's been in some good form. Isaiah Yo versus Cameron Murray. There's some really good battles to look forward to here and some really good play. Damien Cook is in some absolutely fantastic form right now. Um, he's just roaring and ready for origin, I think. But I'm going to go to the Panthers here, and I'm honestly going to go to the Panthers by a big margin. I think Souths have gotten a little bit lucky at some points, and I think coming up against a team like the Panthers, and I guess it's a worry that kick out for probably your biggest game of the season to get into the grand final. If they make the grand final, that'll probably be the biggest game of their season. If they make the grand final for mine, they win it. That's my early tip. I'm tipping a Panthers and a Raiders grand final. I'm tipping the Panthers, Panthers to defeat the Rabbitohs 34 points to 12, and the Canberra Raiders to beat the Storm 16 points to 14. Now, I'm going to include for you here some, uh, some pre-season predictions which were filmed in November of last year, which are absolutely mental. I'll let you guys have a look for them at yourself. So, have a look now. In this one, however, I do think there is a chance that Nathan Cleary could have a big year. Now, Nathan Cleary, it's going to be all his team now with Maloney gone. And I think this is a potential. But those are some small... I had a Storm and a Rabbits Grand Final. Now that has now changed due to the... Let's do it. Week one of the finals. The Storm at home against the Eels. I think the Storm win 26-14. Now because I think Eels finish in fourth position, that moves them through to week two. The Raiders take on the Rabbits. And I think that the Raiders win this match 16-10. A little bit of a home field advantage as well. The Roosters... Versus Manly, 22 points to 6 to the Roosters. Originally, I had a weird prediction that the Roosters will play the Cowboys and keep them scoreless, and it will be 16 to 2. So if that happens, I got that right. <laughs> Cowboys versus Panthers. Now, this will be at the Cowboys' new stadium as well. So I think the Cowboys will win this, 18 points to 12. This moves us through to Week 2, the semi-final. Oh, sorry, the, the qualifying final. The Eels versus the Roosters, 22-18 to 18 para. I think at Bank West, if it is played at Bank West, is a big advantage for week two of the final. Rabbits versus Cowboys. I think the Rabbits romp them, 26-10. to 10. As I said, I think the Rabbits are going to be a very dangerous side. And I think coming up to final after a loss in week one, that's when they get serious. The Storm take on the Rabbits in a preliminary final. Now, this one was my grand final prediction originally, but I've gone with the Rabbits 18 to 16, and the Raiders will play the Eel. And no, I'm not going to be biased here. We have not beaten the Raiders at home in a long time. I think the Raiders win 14 points to 8. Now, what does this mean? This means that the Rabbits play the Raiders in the grand final. Now, I had the Rabbits winning the grand final against the Melbourne Storm originally. And I also have them beating the Raiders. I don't know what it is about this side. I think they're going to come under the radar. They're going to come very good. And I'm predicting the 2020 NRL Grand Final, Raiders versus Rabbits, with a South Sydney win, 20 points to two. Wild, very, very accurate. It was very hard to think of some names, but people get injured. That is part of NRL. Now, Maker Sevo, Britton Nakora, Curtis Sirinan and Tarek Sims. At some point during the 2020 season, whether it be for two weeks, whether it be a month out, we'll all be injured. Massive, bold prediction. As I said, this video is crazy, but these are people that I can see having injuries. So pretty crazy. Hey, I, uh, I said that Nathan Cleary would have a massive year with James Maloney being out. 
And now, as you've seen, I said that it would be a Raiders and a Rabbitohs grand final. Now, I'm not sticking with that tip, but if I got that at the start of the season, I guess I'm right. Everyone is expecting this Panthers and Storm, but I think the season has been unpredictable. There's been plenty of points scored, and I think the Raiders are a little bit hotter than the Storm in regards to their attack. Whether Cameron Smith plays on, that's a huge question. I can't believe I predicted the Sevo injury, uh, Curtis Sirenen injury, I predicted the Storm to play the Eagles week one of the finals when they weren't even in the right position. And I predicted the Storm to win by 12. So I've done really good. I might make a separate video on my entire predictions, but that's going to be my tip. So once again, I'm taking the Canberra Raiders to go through to the grand final against the Melbourne Storm at Suncorp. We've seen the Roosters be beaten at SCG, which they turned into a bit of a fortress. And Melbourne have turned Suncorp into a fortress. I just think the Raiders will get up. 16 14 and i haven't said my score yet have i for the panthers and rabbits maybe i have i'm taking the Penrith panthers to defeat the rabbitohs 34 points to 12 i think they will come storming into this final the rabbitohs have been good they'll score two tries for mine but and reynolds will kick them both but i think that Penrith will be way too red hot and we're going to have a panthers and raiders grand final which i will be attending next week I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you do subscribe to the channel and I'll probably see you guys on Friday night. Let me know your tips in the comments.